If you're a staff member and a person with an allergy does make a request, it's vital that the information you give them be accurate and truthful. So spend the time to make sure that it is absolutely accurate. This could be a matter of life and death. Education, cooperation, and teamwork are the keys to safely serving a food allergic guest. All food service staff, from restaurant management to back of the house staff, must become familiar with the issues surrounding food allergies, as well as the proper way to answer a diner's questions. Chet England, director of quality assurance for Burger King, has spent years focusing on the food allergy demands that quick service restaurants face. His chain publishes and posts up-to-date ingredient lists for regular menu items. Hi, welcome to Burger King. May I help you? Food allergies are important to us because they are a critical element of our food safety programs, and food safety is absolutely our number one priority. This tape is designed to help train all food service employees about what food allergies are, how to meet the special needs of a food allergic customer, and what to do in case of accidental exposure to a food allergen. Understanding this important health issue will not only help diminish your food establishment's liability risk, but also makes good business sense in cultivating happy customers. The prestigious Le Cirque 2000 restaurant in New York City has its lion's share of happy customers, feeding an average of 500 guests a day. Good afternoon. Owner Sirio Maccioni, whose own son has an allergy to shellfish, has had his staff trained in the nuances of food allergies. They know that their food allergic diner's needs are special. 99% of the people come to a restaurant because they want to be surprised how good it is and how simple or how complicated it is. But we are prepared for the people that they have the slightest problem. If they let us know, we cooperate 100%. Restaurants are as different as people. <laughs> and there's no standard quote-unquote restaurant. Each restaurant faces unique challenges in making sure that they provide customers with safe, nutritious meals. That includes food safety, but it also includes making sure that persons that suffer from severe allergies get the foods they need. Marcus Samuelson, chef and co-owner of the award-winning Aquavit restaurant in New York, also accommodates diners special requests. In this exciting cool food type of period that we're in, you have to deliver in very, very unique situations. A lot of customers has a lot of different requests. It could be a diet, it could be allergies. The one the one you take the most serious as a chef is allergies. What is a food allergy? Over six million people have true food allergies. Although any food can cause an allergic reaction, eight foods account for 90% of them. Those foods are peanuts, which are actually a type of bean or legume, nuts from trees, like walnuts, cashews, and pecans, fish, shellfish, eggs, milk, soy, and wheat. It's the protein in these foods that someone may be allergic to. A food allergy occurs when the immune system, which usually fights off harmful germs, mistakenly believes that a particular food is harmful. When this happens, it sends out an army of chemicals, including histamine, to combat the allergen or invader. Those chemicals released into the body cause allergic symptoms like hives, shortness of breath, vomiting, or even unconsciousness. Not all allergic reactions are created equal, some may be mild, but others can be anaphylactic, that is, life-threatening. The only way to prevent a reaction is through total avoidance. It can only take a minute amount of a food allergen to trigger a fatal reaction in some allergic people. If they do experience a reaction, they must immediately receive epinephrine to help stop the reaction. It's available for personal use by prescription in an auto-injector. They must also be transported to a hospital immediately for further care. Mom, I'm hungry. Can we go get something to eat? Okay. For Julianne and Mark Cohen, eating at a restaurant can be a stressful activity because of their son JJ's life-threatening food allergy to milk. For our family, going to a restaurant is never simple. We have to make sure that there's something on the menu that JJ can eat. We have to make sure the ingredients are safe. Also make sure in the kitchen that there's no cross-contamination or an utensil hasn't touched a food that JJ might be allergic to. It can be very stressful. 
Do you have any questions about I, the menu? I do. I have a peanut allergy. Kathy Sheehan has a severe peanut allergy and nearly lost her life when she ate a pastry bought from a bakery. Someone told me the nuts on a Danish were almonds, and lo and behold, they were peanuts. I ate them. My throat got very scratchy right away, stomach cramps, diarrhea, and then gasping for breath to the point where I passed out. No matter what type of food service establishment you work at, whether quick service, family style, catering, cafeteria, or fine dining, someone will pay you a visit who has food allergies. We'll bend over backwards to do whatever we can to satisfy our customers overall, but especially the kids and the moms and the others who have enough stress in the rest of their lives that they can come to Burger King, sit down, enjoy themselves, and have a good time. From breakfast on the go to a multi-course meal, food allergies need to be handled with a total commitment to precision. This is one case where you can't tell the customer what he or she wants to hear unless it is absolutely accurate. Kathy Sheehan's husband, Harvey, remembers getting misinformation from a neighborhood restaurant. I remember very distinctly going to a restaurant with Kathy and going through this whole litany of questions that we ask to the point where you not only ask the waiter, you'll ask the manager and so forth. And uh, in the middle of dinner, she finds a peanut mixed in you know, with the food, at which time we had to drop everything, pay the bill, and run immediately to the emergency room just as a precautionary measure. It's a very emotional situation for me. Obviously, there's a fear factor that just never goes away every time I go into a restaurant. If you cannot give truthful and accurate information, you need to tell the customer that you can't assure that. Uh, you may indeed lose a customer, but it's better to lose a customer than risk someone's life. To review, food allergies can be deadly, so take them seriously. Listen to your food allergic customer. Give accurate and truthful information. Training restaurant or food service staff about allergies should be the responsibility of the person in charge, whether that person is a manager or owner of the business. This includes educating the staff about food allergies and implementation of procedures. Training in our type of environment is always a challenge. With the number of employees we have, the, the, the turnover rates that we have, the different cultures and languages that we have to deal with, and one of the major messages that we try and get across to our employees right from their first day on the job is the importance of food safety to our customers, to our business, to our brand. Procedures should clearly define how to handle menu selections, meal preparation, and serving methods to be used for a food allergic individual. This tape can be shown to the staff to give them valuable visual information on understanding and handling food allergies. Having these plans in place before they're needed will ensure that the staff handles any allergic emergencies appropriately and quickly. Food allergy training must be reviewed periodically to ensure that everyone knows what to do. New employees should receive food allergy training before they have contact with any guests. Hello, welcome to the Parkside Cafe. How you doing? How can I help you guys today? I am going to need some help. My son has some life-threatening food allergies. When a guest identifies himself or herself as having a food allergy, the host, hostess, or server should call over the person in charge to the table. This can be a manager or owner who will answer any questions the guest may have about the menu items and ensure that the proper procedure is followed for the special request. Hi, my name is Julio. I'm the manager. How can I help you? This is Tim. Tim has life-threatening food allergies to milk, peanuts, and tree nuts. So I want to make sure that we can have a safe meal for him. Very good. I'll, I'll make sure to take care of this personally. A designated staff member should be responsible for discussing ingredient information with the guest. There may be situations where you physically cannot assure a person that the item is not in the menu item and therefore you should tell the person. Some foods are overall better choices for food allergic individuals. Great. I noticed you had a lot of chicken on the menu. Can you do just a plain chicken for him? Well, we usually grill our chicken. Most of the items have marinades, so we'll bake it in a separate pan if you'd like. Wonderful. That sounds good. When the order goes in, it should be flagged with a written notation on it. The kitchen staff needs to be alerted to be aware of any cross-contamination issues in preparing the food. 
It isn't sufficient to simply modify the order, such as no cheese or no sour cream for a milk allergic guest, or no nuts for nut allergic patrons. Once the meal has been prepared, the manager, server, or chef should hand carry the plate separately from the rest of the table's order. Here's your meal. Thank you. It's easy to accidentally contaminate a guest's food, drinks, or utensils when carrying them on a tray with other items, where foods could splash, touch, or spill on them. Shortly thereafter, check with the diner to make sure that everything is satisfactory. Tim, how's your meal? It's great. All right. Let me know if there's anything else you need. If a mistake is made, do not simply remove the offending ingredient or scrape the allergen off of it. The only acceptable correction is to remake the order. Inform the diner that it will take a few extra minutes to make sure the meal is prepared properly.